Fruity Pebbles, Cocoa Puffs, Lucky Charms, and my favorite, Reese's Puffs. We all grew up loving cereal, and then we got older, and we realized maybe the best thing to eat in the morning is not cardboard coated in sugar. But then, all these protein cereals came into play. Magic Spoon, High Key, Catalina Crunch, Three Wishes, Wonderworks, Schoolyard Snacks, and if you're anything like me, you're hit with these ads for these protein cereals all the time. These protein cereal brands, you know what they're saying? Take this. You don't need that anymore because you got protein cereal. Every time I go on Instagram, I see an ad for Magic Spoon. So I wanted to figure out, is this a spoon I want to eat from? So we're looking at the most popular brand. It looks like it's Magic Spoon. And let's look at cocoa because I love chocolate. You love chocolate. So let's look at that flavor. A cup of cereal is 140 calories and 13 grams of protein. And they look like Cheerios. So it got me thinking. <laughs> Cheerios. Of course, barely any protein, no protein at all. But I'm not talking about Honey Nut Cheerios or Peanut Butter Cheerios, all those flavored ones. These are just the basic cardboard tasting Cheerios. A cup of Magic Spoon Cocoa, 140 calories, and a cup of Cheerios is 93 calories and three grams of protein. Magic Spoon is already higher calorie, but it has more protein, so it makes sense. Well, not just yet. Cheerios plus protein powder. A cup of Cheerios is three grams of protein, so we're 10 grams away from Magic Spoon. So I take my chocolate protein powder for that brand a protein powder, I would need a third of a scoop and that would be less than 50 calories, but we'll round up to 50. Protein powder plus Cheerios is 140 calories for a cup and 13 grams of protein. So we just made magic spoon at home. So all you need are the regular Cheerios, the unflavored, the unhoney nutted Cheerios and some protein powder. What about peanut butter? What about frosted? I want the flavors that these protein cereals offer. You craving Reese's for breakfast? You want some peanut butter puffs? How about some chocolate flavored protein powder along with some powdered peanut butter? Feeling cinnamon toast crunch vibes? How about some vanilla protein powder and a little bit of cinnamon? Or get rid of that cinnamon. Go for some cookies and cream, some Oreo flavored cereal. Throw some black cocoa in there with your vanilla protein powder or even better, a cookies and cream flavored protein powder. If you're feeling a little fruity, if you like tricks and fruity pebbles, no one likes tricks, come on. Get yourself a fruity cereal protein powder and tell me what cereal is going to be salted caramel flavor. I don't know any, but I have salted caramel protein and it tastes pretty dang good in cereal. Say goodbye to the limited flavor combos that these protein cereal brands offer you because now you're only limited by your imagination and maybe every single possible protein powder flavor there is. We've gotten over the fact that we can match the protein and calories. We've gotten over the fact that we can get even more flavors, but you're saying, what about price? Is it really even cheaper? Protein powder is expensive. Well, let's look at price. So Magic Spoon, four boxes of cereal, 39 bucks, like what? I'm gonna go broke by Friday. So $39 for four boxes of cereal versus our least favorite grocery store selling us a family sized box of Cheerios for 364. So per cup of cereal for Magic Spoon, we're looking at 195 versus per cup of Cheerios, 19 cents. But I'm forgetting the protein powder. Let's go to a website called My Protein because they always have a pretty good deal for a protein powder and they have a ton of flavors to choose from. We're gonna look at the smallest size they have, which is 10 servings. This bag goes for around $10, but there are always coupon codes. Literally just Google any My Protein coupon code. You will find a coupon code and you can get this down from $10 to like $5. So it's gonna be around $5 for 10 scoops of protein. Each scoop is gonna be around 50 cents, which means half a scoop is gonna be 25 cents. A whopping 44 cents for your homemade Cheerios and protein powder versus $1.95 for Magic Spoon. So there we go. That is a savings of $1.51 per bowl of cereal. Let's round that down to $1.50 so we can do math a little bit easier. Every day, that's $1.50. Let's say you're eating cereal five times a week. We'll save the weekend for some fancier food for breakfast, like some eggs. 150 every single day, five times a week. That's $7.50 a week. That's that's basically a Chipotle bowl. So go get yourself some more Chipotle. And every year that's $390 just from making protein cereal at home. And if you're like me, you've never been satisfied with one bowl of cereal, at least two bowls minimum. That's $780 per year. Like guys, with all this money that you save, you can finally justify buying more GameStop stock. Okay, okay, okay. Protein powder tastes like garbage. It tastes like straight trash. Protein powder is disgusting. Guys, if you think protein powder tastes like garbage, you haven't tried enough protein powders. Keep trying more. You will find one that you like. And you vegans, I did not forget about you. These protein cereal brands might have forgotten about you guys. Maybe they don't care, but me, I care about you guys. I care about you vegans.
a vegan protein, take your cereal, add some vegan protein, and you're good to go. But convenience, guys. The taste might be better, you might be saving money, but is it convenient? Like, you're busy in the morning. You don't have time to get a protein shaker, shake a bunch of protein with some milk, pour it in a bowl, add some cereal to it. This is a milk frother, but it is a protein cereal frother as well. So take your scoop of protein powder, throw it in your bowl, throw some milk, take this thing, whip that bad boy up. You only have one bowl that you've dirty. All you have to do was give it a little, but at the end of the day, a cup of cereal is not filling me up. Two cups of cereal is not filling me up. It doesn't matter if it's protein cereal or Cheerios with protein powder. I need more volume. This is puffed wheat. This is puffed millet. If you like big balls, go for puffed wheat. If you like small balls, go for puffed millet. If you don't like balls at all, go for some puffed rice. So these puffed cereals are 60 calories per cup instead of 90 calories for Cheerios. So instead of having protein powder and Cheerios, have protein powder with some puffed cereal. You will have a ginormous bowl of cereal for not that many calories. So if you want the best bowl of cereal, the one that's gonna fill you up the most, the one that's gonna have the most amount of volume for the least amount of calories and still have a bunch of protein, you're gonna take your bowl, you're gonna throw some protein powder in there, you're gonna throw some milk in there, preferably from a nut. You're gonna take your, you're gonna give it a little, and then you're gonna add a bunch of puffed cereal to that bowl. and oh my God, you have a nice big bowl of cereal for not that many calories. And don't tell anyone, but I like- Sorry, I got distracted for a second. I like to throw a little bit of sugar-free maple syrup right on top of my cereal. Protein puffed wheat cereal. It is delicious and it is the perfect way to start my morning. Mmm. So if you want to enjoy cereal for breakfast and you want to do it in a way where you get more protein in and you're already at the grocery store to pick up milk, right? Because you're not having dry cereal. So pick up some Cheerios or puffed cereal. Go get yourself a bunch of flavors of protein powder. You're going to save a bunch of money. You're going to get a better taste. And if you're using puffed cereal, you're going to get way more volume for the same amount of calories and protein. You go make yourself a homemade bowl of protein cereal and I'm going to start my own ads for protein powder and Cheerios or protein powder and puffed wheat cereal. And I'm gonna hit you with ads for this. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next video.